Hi guys, and welcome to... 10 Things I Don't Want to Hear From a Girlfriend So... Let's begin uh, Oh, wait, no, before I begin This is from personal experience This is not aimed at anyone Specifically This is aimed at anybody in a relationship this isn't aimed at my future girlfriend this isn't aimed at whoever this is just me being me ten things that I don't want to hear from my ne from a girl that I'm with that's the thing right Let's begin. So, at number 10, the words that come out of her mouth when she's hanging around with a friend who's male, and um, yeah, when these words come out of her mouth, you're going, what the fuck's going on here? Don't worry, he's just an ex. I've heard this one, this, this hurts. You know, it suddenly feels like, you know, it feels like you're being twisted to think, oh, nothing's going to happen. But it may do, since, you know, it's happened in the past. This could be the guy I get with after you, because he was such a nice ex-boyfriend. No! Just... No! It makes... It makes me angry. Right. And... And breathe. Notice anything different. No, but you're expecting me to spend 20 minutes looking up and down you to make sure there is something wrong. Or different. For example, you've had your eyebrows tweaked. Uh, you've had your eyebrows tweaked, love. No? I've had my hair cut. Well, the fact is, yes, we've noticed something's different. But the fact is, though, the male mind does not know to comment on this. We should know by now. Yes, we should. But the fact is, no. We will not comment. And that's when, you know, we start scouring the body with our eyes. And then people look at us going, oh, he's undressing her with his eyes. Well, the fact is, though, I can't see anything different straight off. But we know there is something different now. What could be different? Eyebrows. Hair. 
bikini wax. I don't know. I don't think of them. I don't have the same mindset as you. Ah. Right, moving on. Are you done? I've just come... Just imagine this, right? You've just come in from work. She's two minutes after you. And she's like, Are you done with tea yet? No! I've just come in from work. I want to sit down for half an hour before I even start ha doing anything. Please! Please! Don't ask us! Especially... Worst place to hear this. When you're in the middle of sex. Why? Why? Oh, are you, are you done yet? No, I'm not. But now I am because the fact is, you've just put me off my game. Fuck you. Sideways. Num moving quickly on to the next thing, so... Anyone else's name when she's talking to you? When she's like, for example, she'll be t trying to get a hold of me. Like, say she's saying hi. Oh, hi. And then, when she's meant to say Ryan, or Raza, no real life names here, um, it goes, Hi Tom! Hi Tom! Mm. Who's Tom? Hi Jesse! Who the fuck's Jesse? <sighs> this could be just a something on the tip of your tongue that's just come out but the fact is though it just makes you makes a man think it especially insecure men which I am because of my size I'm a big lad there's plenty of better looking women out in this area wait no no there's plenty of better looking men in this area I think I've just got a big massive hate off the women there. Or just me making this video will make women hate me. I'm not sexist. Uh, yeah, but... Why? Why? Why would you do this? Why, oh why, Delilah? My name's not Delilah. My name's Raza. Deal with it. <sighs> Moving quickly on. Am I special? Yes, you're special. I'm with you. But why are you with me? Because I like your personality. I think you're good looking. And I think you've got a heart of gold. And we get on. But that doesn't mean I'm special. You have plenty of female friends who are like that. You're the one I chose. You're the one I want to be with. I didn't choose them. I chose you. I... Uh, yeah. I didn't choose them. I, I chose you. Whoever you may be. <laughs> Just don't do it. It's almost like... Y your... Idea of making a man's life happy is making it harder. A man's mind is simple. We don't do all the complex things you do. We're not. We're not complex. We like to stick to simple things. For example, me. 
wake up. No. Sleep, eat, game, YouTube, repeat. Simple. That is simple. Not eat, sleep, diet, eat, diet, sleep. Drink, fuck. Yeah, no. Why? Why? I'm sure by the end of this video I'm going to end up turning like a Hulk. I'm already halfway there. In fact, if I had my friend, if I had one of my friends here, I would literally ask them, "Can you paint my face green as we go through this video?" Because that's the way I'm going. Can you stop snoring? It's natural. You're gonna have to deal with it. It's me. That's what I do when I sleep. We're both awake now. We're both gonna be pissed off. And now my brother's coming into the room. No, he's going to the toilet. It's about right. So that's about right for my YouTube channel. <sighs> yeah. Snoring. It's natural. Deal with it. You probably do it too. In fact, most of you do. The worst word in the female and women's dictionary is, it's fine. We know it's not fine. It's raining outside. It's not fine. You're pissed off for some reason. It's not fine. We want to help you do... To help... We want to solve this situation. But you're wanting to delay it. Deal. Let me help you. Do you agree with me, Ben? Worst word in a female female dictionary is it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> See, even he agrees, and he's 16. Yeah. Which moves makes me go on to the next one. What's wrong? We can be sit there. I can be sat there on my Xbox, playing away. And out of nowhere, what's wrong? I didn't hear you. Bloody hell, woman. What's wrong? Stop asking me what's wrong and then I might be fine. I might be okay. There's nothing wrong. What's wrong? Nothing. There's going to be something wrong in a minute when you, if you keep carrying on asking me this. Just imagine, right, just imagine this pen. And just do, keep doing that. Constantly. That's fucking annoying. That's how being asked what's wrong sounds like and feels like. Right. The next one. This goes both ways. The size issue. Never bring up the size of a man's penis in a conversation. Oh, it's only average. But you've had bigger? Now, thank you. You make me feel even more in inadequate than I already am. <sighs> Stop doing this. You know, I've asked a woman, how did it feel afterwards? Oh, it's it's okay. It's fine. You know. Oh, yeah, that word's already there. Oh, God, here we go. Your penis size is only average. Thank you. I've spent years trying to make all the lads think I've got a bigger penis than them. Mainly in my teenage years. But now you're saying it's 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 fine? What? It, it's, it's average? What the fuck? That means multiple people have bigger penises than me. Yes, multiple people have smaller penises than me. But the fact is, though, it's average means people have bigger dicks than me. That makes me feel inadequate. Fucking hell. Right, and finally... 
this is one that happened to me quite recently stories about the X or comparing them to the X comparing me to an X why are you comparing me to an X I'm a different person you're with me now not them what why why are you doing this um why why bring up your past wi uh, sexual past or relationships of, of, or you know the ghost of relationships past why bring that into this this is a new relationship a new start for you why are you bringing up your past worst ones that I've had that can happen that I've heard about from my friends and other people and the interweb basically this get woman got with a guy right I basically told him what her ex was like he was in prison okay that that scares me tattooed buff quite you know big tall handsome dark and and that he was that the reason why he was there was because he beat up your ex just don't do it it scares us it scares us simple beings to the core just don't just don't go there right that's it for this video I can't be out I can't I've, I've said what I've wanted to say and I'm gonna end up being even more pissed off if I carry on talking about this so from now on remember peace out stay awesome